Hello and welcome back to another Football Manager Experiment video on the Calm Right YouTube channel. It is the 23rd of March 2021 in real life and in game. And also in real life and in game. Stephen Glass has been announced as the new manager of my beloved Aberdeen. So today, carrying out the Football Manager Experiment to see how he will do. Obviously it won't have a bearing on how things are in real life, it could go totally differently, but it's a little bit of fun, it's a relevant topic. But it's not just Stephen Glass there, as you can see, Scott Brown, Celtic captain, there as well, rumoured to be coming in as player slash assistant manager, as well as Mike Russell coming in. Alan! Al! Alan! Who's an England coach as well, so he's of pedigree. Scott Brown of pedigree, but also a p But before we go any further and get stuck into the experiment, Please do hit subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on as well so you're not to miss out on future. We've got plenty more experiments, let's plays, even tactics and tutorials possibly coming. Although if you aren't new around here you'll know maybe my tactics and tutorials probably aren't worth listening to. But we have fun anyway and leave a like on the video too. Now simply per chance we have come into this experiment as I said on the 23rd of March 2021 in a very realistic situation. Aberdeen, of course, fourth in real life behind Hibernian. About six points behind in real life, I believe, maybe seven now. Eight in this, so pretty close. Unrealistic that Celtic have won the league by an absolute landslide. Should be the other way around between them and Rangers, but here we are. So, will Stephen Glass be able to make up that ground and get third place? That's what we want in real life. Let's see if we can do it on this. However, we won't be doing well in the Scottish Cup because we've already been knocked out of that before we've even played in it in real life, so that's good. And did terribly in the Betfred Cup too against those nice guys who burn in. But as you can see, the squad itself is exactly how it is in real life other than the addition of Scott Brown in his player slash assistant manager role, which if rumours are to believe is due to be confirmed very, very soon, even if it is possibly starting next season. But if we fast forward to the end of the season, as we can see, Aberdeen did not catch Hibernian and seal that third place spot. Instead finishing fourth, qualifying for the Euro Cup 2 or the Conference League as it will be in real life. St Mirren and St Johnston both in the top half. But three points behind Hibs, crucial. If we even finish three points behind Hibs at this rate in real life, if I could speak that would be good too. T -t Today, Junior! Then I would be shocked. Stephen Glass however, still on a job at the end of the season despite not being able to finish third, that's obviously to be expected. They're not going to sack him immediately, are they? Mm. His statistics are great. Obviously, it doesn't mean anything in real life. But hopefully, he will be better in real life. Fingers crossed, we can but hope. Big Steve's form, pretty decent though since we started this experiment. Undefeated as Aberdeen Gaffer. Dropping points only against oh, St Mirren and Hibbs. Beating Rangers and Celtic. If he comes in and does that post-split, I will be a very, very happy man. The whole Aberdeen fan, fan base will be very, very happy. I'm getting excited at the thought of it. I can't even say fan base. I did it there, so... Kind of a win and a loss there. But no losses for Steven, that's for sure. We'd take that at Aberdeen to start off with, let's be honest. Now, we fast forward even further to the conclusion of the 2022 season. Should Steven Glass be there in real life, that'll be the end of his first full season as Aberdeen boss. I'm looking at his transfers, though, and I... Really, really hope they're going to be better in real life than this. Uh, Carr Mc McEnroy, uh, don't know who he is, out on loan at Montrose. Not great. Ross Doohan from Celtic. Um, uh, again, not the best. I hope I hope Dave Cormack's planning on giving Stephen Glass more money than this in real life. I really, really do. Nico Williams, on loan. That would be a decent right-back signing. We'll take that. Worth £10 million apparently in this. Goodness gracious me. Jack Simpson on loan from that lot down the road. Mm, uh, I don't think anyone would take too kindly to that up here. Not a big fan of either of the Glasgow clubs, in case you're not aware. So hopefully that doesn't happen. And Roddy McGregor, great name, sounds really, really old. 70s minimum, drinking in the pub, drinking whiskey. Decent enough. 20 years old, called Roddy. It doesn't seem right. And they say best for last. F.A. Ambrose, signed for free from Livingston. Wouldn't be a fan's favourite, I don't think, but it would be really funny if we signed F.A. Ambrose after all the stick we gave him when he was at Celtic for being a bit of a donkey. 
It'd be funny. I hope it doesn't happen though. The outs, however, interesting. Greg Lee booted to NEC Nijmegen. Mark Gallagher gone. Ramsey out on loan. That's quite realistic. Good young player. Vertanen out on loan to Motherwell. That we could see him playing in the Premiership. Ideally at Aberdeen though. Ojo to Queen's Park. Oh, Funso. Oh, Funso, Funso, Funso. Oh dear. Scottish League 1 for Funso Ojo. That's not good. That's not the Belgian peer we know and love. Gallagher out on loan. McKinroy out on loan as well. Sorry, Gallagher sold. And Dean Campbell sold to Hibernian Reserves apparently. Playing seven times for Hibs, that better not happen, or else we'll have to have words. Ooh, you're hard, showing off. Ronald Hernandez is back, though, only having played five games throughout the season, but he's back and playing in an Aberdeen shirt, something that's not happened a lot. In fact, maybe about five times at most in real life. It says two there. I should have read it, shouldn't have had a voice crack, but here we are. Seven appearances, 800k. I hope to God he gets more than that in real life. Very bizarre transfer. Bruce Anderson was also kept around. That's very interesting. There's rumours that he's going to be offered a new contract up at the end of the season. Wasn't worth it, though. Seven appearances, one goal. It That's very realistic. If you say football manager's realistic or this experiment's realistic at all, at least they've got that right. And the Hernandez thing. So that's two. Two out of two ain't bad. I think that's the saying. It's definitely not the saying, is it? The bad news is Stephen Glass lost his job in... February, less than a year in the job. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Oh, that's not good for young Stephen, is it? It's not good for him at all. Please don't let that happen. It would be very, very chaotic. It would make me unhappy. I hope it works out far, far better than that. It says they finished fifth in the Scottish Premiership. By Robson was caretaker for some reason. Not Paul Sheeran, didn't trust him. Clearly didn't enjoy the game against Dundee United. Gert Ver... He in the next Aberdeen manager. Looks interesting. Looks decent. That would be ambitious. Maybe that would get people excited. Dave, if you're listening. So where did it all go wrong for Stephen? 82 games in charge. Winning 39. That's not terrible. Drawing 17. Losing 26. With a win percentage of 47 still. It's not really bad. It's not terrible at all. But not good enough, it would seem, for Dave. He's got loftier ambitions, even for his mate Stephen. He'll give him the boot, it doesn't matter. Stephen's first full season in charge started pretty darn well. I mean, a win against Dungeon United, Paul Sheeran couldn't do that. Not great in Europe, though, however. Drawing with Celtic as well. What about against Rangers? Beat them in the semi-final of the Betfred Cup. That's decent. Not bad at all. Did lose the final to those pesky nice people. Hibs, again... Um, and then the form was very, very patchy, in fairness. Oh, wow. This is the form that got him sacked. Losing to 4-4. This is off the back of drawing with Rangers. That's not a bad result. Then losing to Hibs again. Motherwell, Dundee United, and then Ross County was the nail in the coffin before he got the boot. I can kind of understand it. Can kind of understand it. But the new gaffer came in and form didn't pick up too much between him and Barry Robson. Uh, picking up three wins between then and the end season. Not great whatsoever, but what are you going to do? Fifth place. Oh, maybe they were right when they said, you careful what you wish for after McInnes left. Uh, I'm panicking. This isn't what real life's going to be like. We're going to be great. We're going to win everything. It's going to be like the 80s again. But that experiment was far, far, far shorter than I thought it was going to be. And I hoped it was going to be a bit longer. It gives a bit more insight, perhaps. It's a game. It doesn't count, but just let me have it. Hopefully, Stephen Glass's spell in charge of Aberdeen does go better than that in real life and lasts a bit longer too. That would be nice. But if you enjoyed this video, please do smash the like button. Hit subscribe with notifications on so you're not to miss out in future. If you haven't already, plenty more of this kind of thing, more fun things, let's plays, all that stuff to come, as I mentioned at the start of the video. Comment down below, though. Let me know. How happy are you with, with the Stephen Glass appointment if you're an Aberdeen fan? If you're not an Aberdeen fan and you know anything about Scottish football, let me know how you think it'll do. Should we have stuck with McInnes? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks very much for tuning in and take care.